So here's a quick introduction to the Wikisite initiative. Uh, my name is Pete Forsyth. I'm with Wiki Strategies, which does consulting and training around Wikipedia and related projects. Uh, and I'm making this video in August 2018. This is kind of a rough draft. So by the time you see this, there might be a better version out there. But I thought I'd give a quick introduction uh, as I'm starting to learn more about the project myself. So you can see the, uh, the URL that I'm looking at right here. This is the Wikisite page on MetaWiki, but it also has its own website, which is wikisite.org. Uh, and essentially, this is an initiative that's been around for several years to create a bibliographic database uh, that will keep track of academic and other kinds of citations and all of the information about them, when they were published, what journal they were in, who the authors were, um, where they're, and which, have, which articles have cited which other articles. So as you can imagine, this is really useful when you're trying to get a sense of what journals or what authors have had the most impact in a field, especially if you're not really familiar with that field. It's really good to be able to get strong data on things like that. So let's look at this tool, which is uh, it's called Scolia. So this is a tool that's going to let you run searches based on the information that's already in Wikidata. Now, there's, there's a lot that hasn't been entered into Wikidata yet. Um, so this might or might not uh, be very effective at finding a comprehensive uh, collection of information, but we'll find some interesting stuff. Uh, as you can see here, you can search for a scientist, a paper, or an organization, all different kinds of information, and it'll, it'll pull up different results. So I've already, because it does take a little while to load, I've uh, preloaded a couple here. Um, so here's what it looks like if you pull up the New York Times. This one's going to give you a sense of how much there is to add. This lists three articles, three recent articles. That's all we see. Uh, but these are the ones that have been entered into Wikidata. And you can see the date and, uh, and the title of the article and some more information. And you can see the, the dates of them uh, displayed in a graphical format, information about the authors and links to more information. So any of these, these blue links you can get more information by clicking through to them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're looking at here. This is kind of interesting how this is swirling around. Uh, but I guess this is telling us about the topics, co-occurring topics graph. So there's lots here that you could probably explore. Let's take a look at another one. So this is going to be, uh, yeah, here we have, well, actually, no. First, I'd like to show you uh, John McCain, because this is a simpler one. So not primarily uh, an author, but he has written a number of books. So it gives you a, a brief biography from Wikipedia, um, tells you some people that are connected with him. And then here is a list of his publications. So you see about seven or eight books and the year they were published. Again, you can see how many per year since their books. It's basically just one a year. Um, and you know, in this case, because it's not a very uh, you know, he's not very prolific. There's not a whole lot to see here. But here's an interesting bit. Uh, you see that he has two co-authors here. Mark's, they're both named Mark Salter. So this is a suggestion that probably we have uh, some work to do in determining which is which. If we actually look at these, we're going to find that one is an author and one is a football player. So um, that's something that can probably be fixed in the database. That's a sign of a work in progress. Now here, let's look at Noam Chomsky, who is a much more prolific author. Um, we're going to see his, uh, I think, 10 most recent works are going to come up by default, and we can always we can scroll through and look at all of them. Uh, and you can see most of them are scholarly articles, but then we've got a book in here as well. Uh, if we scroll down, now we're seeing kind of more interesting reflection of the number per year. You can see that uh, 2005 was an especially prolific year for him. He had four articles published in that year. A uh, number of pages for, per year that could be uh, that could be interesting. Some works are obviously longer than others. Uh, and then you get down here, and here's a visualization of the topics that he's writing on. Or no, I'm sorry, not the topics. The venues, the the venues that he's published in. So you can see that he's published more in PLOS Biology than uh, than most of the others. Now this might reflect maybe all the articles haven't been entered yet, so this might not be 100% accurate, but it's at least going to give you a good idea. Uh, and then we keep going down, we see the co-author graph for Noam Chomsky is much more extensive. 
And on this, you can click on each one of these people and it'll recenter around them. Uh, and here's the one I was thinking before, topics. So you can see he's mostly written about linguistics, but also uh, language, uh, Palestine. You know, you can see there are all these other topics that are kind of littered around the sides. Uh, it's interesting here. I see Palestine here. I see Palestine over here. So again, there might be something that we, or it looks like Palestinians is what it says when I hover over it. So there might be um, some need to disambiguate topics here, or maybe not. So that's just a, a basic view of uh, some interesting stuff you can explore. Uh, I'm going to just go back so you can see the URL again. It's right here uh, if you want to play with this yourself. And uh, I would say check back on this project because it's under pretty active development.